You know, it's interesting if you've forgotten this has been quite the saga. Kyler Murray scrubbing the social media, the Cardinals references, and then now it's changed a little bit. There was a lot out there, Jeff, that was making people think maybe the Cardinals are upset with him. He's upset with them. And here we are with Steve Kime talking about a contract being done this summer. When does the lack of contract, though, become concerning for Cardinals and Kyler? Well, the clock starts now in terms of whether we should be concerned about the contract. That comes with the notion that the clock did not start back in February when this became <laughs> such a dramatic story because mm. of the statement that Kyler Murray's agent had put out and all of the social media scrubbing that you referenced, some of the things that came out of the Cardinals building. But ultimately, I talked to Steve Kahn back in February, and he extinguished a lot of that by essentially saying what he said there is, look, we're going to get through this offseason portion, get through the draft, and then we're going to sit down and we're going to hammer out this contract, and it's going to get done. All that being said, now we're to the point where the draft is over. Now we're to the point where Steve Kime needs to get to work. And we need to be careful with this. While there is optimism, while this isn't going sideways, we are still at a point where if this were to drag on, it could go sideways again. So we'll keep an eye on it, but we will take Steve Kime for now at his word for it. Well, we're waiting on D. Wood, but he may not know it's his turn. So what do you think, Damien? <laughs> he didn't like what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It was, it's, it's, it's got some things going on over here, Lord. <laughs> Uh, l listen, I think as far as I think as far as Kyler Murray is concerned and, and the Arizona Cardinals, uh, obviously the contract situation that's going to work itself out. But there's there's a lot of concerns going on for me as it relates to the Arizona Cardinals. Number one, obviously, is DeAndre Hopkins uh, with his six game suspension. We all saw how that played a role last year towards the end of the season when DeAndre Hopkins was hurting it and the effect that it had on Kyler Murray. And then we talk about, you know, the, the back and forth between Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals organization. Uh, these type of things, you just don't, you know, you don't want to see these things play itself out. Hopefully the contract situation gets okay. itself worked out and, and you know, these guys can get focused back on what's really important. And that's the game of football. But Arizona is, uh, to me, is, is in a precarious situation, um, you know, just as an organization, especially as it relates to DeAndre Hopkins and, and, and his lack of availability early in, into the season coming up. You know what else is precarious is, is uh, our technical issues here so far in NFL Live. We're, we're going to let <laughs> these things linger as long as we can and see how awkward <laughs> it can get. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.